What impact would there be if Deshaun Jackson decides to go to the Redskins? Well, I think it'll be a profound impact personally. And I spoke to him about, uh, you know, he and I texted one another about an hour ago, and he talked about how there are still things uh, that are being worked out. Nothing's etched in stone. But obviously the belief is that he'll end up in the nation's capital. What I can tell you is that he certainly, while he's keeping his options open, uh, he is certainly not averse to ending up in the NFC East because he would love to get an opportunity to go up against his now former team, the Philadelphia Eagles. What I can also tell you is that when you look at the Washington Redskins, uh, You've got Pierre Garçon, and we know what he can do. Uh, we know what a mercurial talent he has shown himself to be with over 1,300 receiving yards himself just last season. But at the same time, he hasn't had much help. You have the Jordan Reeds of the world who, who showed up and tried to do a little something-something. But in the end, you need a Deshaun Jackson. You need somebody to spread the field. You need somebody to give a Garçon and others room to operate. And I think that, more importantly, you need a legitimate deep threat to pair with Garçon for RG3 to operate under. Because if you have that kind of a weapon, then you're not going to be able to crowd the line of scrimmage the way you customarily do because you certainly don't want Deshaun Jackson getting behind you because once that happens, it's lights out. It's a TD. You can book it. I can also tell you that the nation's capital... Several loved ones I have in the area are in an absolute uproar. The city, the nation's capital, what I affectionately call Chocolate City, is just, uh, I mean, they're going crazy at the thought of ultimately acquiring uh, Sean Jackson because they know what he's capable of doing. And so to me, when I look at their running game, when I look at Garcon, when I look at the capabilities of an RG3 who's expected to be considerably healthier, if not flat out 100% compared to what he was last season, and then you add a weapon like Deshaun Jackson to that mix, I don't think there's any question that would make the Redskins more formidable offensively, and it'll give us an opportunity to really see RG3 shine yet once again. And I think the Redskins are thinking about all of that, which is why I would love it if Deshaun Jackson ended up in a Redskins uniform. So would I. So I, I'm going to push you one more step here. How good would this make the Redskins? Better than the Philadelphia Eagles? Would you go that far? Well, I think that it, I think they could give the Eagles a run for their money, but that depends on defense, Skip. I think offensively it'll put them up there, but there's so many question marks. I, I would throw that question back to you personally by asking you, what would RG3 do, mm. okay? What would their defense do? Because when I look at the Philadelphia Eagles, if Macklin returns and he's 100%, with LaShawn McCoy and a Darren Sproles, all right, with a Brent Selleck, I still don't say definitively that the Redskins' offense would be better than the Eagles, and not not to mention the fact that, you know, we, we got to learn something about Jay Gruden. We don't know what he's bringing to the table. We have to see. I'm, I'm here to tell you, the Cincinnati Bengals didn't wow me. They didn't, they didn't you know, have me ruling over them. All right. So now he's not an offensive coordinator. He's the head coach. But when I look at Jip Kelly on the offensive side of the ball, I think it's pretty apparent what he can do. I think it's pretty apparent that they've upgraded the acquisition of Sproles to peer with Shady McCoy makes them incredibly formidable. And let's not forget Riley Cooper. He did have a decent year last year with Macklin, with Selleck. It's not something that could be ignored. Okay. I agree. The Eagles clearly have serious firepower. But I am ready to make the leap if, in fact, this happens, if Deshaun signs with the Washington Redskins, and by all appearances, it will happen, I believe that would make the Washington Redskins the favorites to win the NFC East wow. over the Philadelphia Eagles with your Giants and my Cowboys running a distant third and fourth because both of them have eight and eight written all over them. I don't know if you agree with your Giants, but that's what I see right now. I look at these Redskins. And, I, you know, I love me some RG3. I believe he will return to being RG3 under Jay Gruden. It certainly wouldn't help to put a deep speed threat opposite of Pierre Garçon, who led the National Football League in catches last year with 113. Do not forget that. And they still have some depth at wide receiver because they signed Andre Roberts, you might recall, from the Arizona Cardinals. He had a bad year last year, had a good year two years ago. Might help just a little bit. And you still got Aldrich Robinson, Santana Moss, Hankerson, for what it's worth. You, you have some depth. You have some new firepower there with Deshaun as a difference maker. And then on, on the other side of the ball, Ryan Clark, our friend of the show here, friend of mine, friend of yours, 
did sign. I think he will help stabilize their secondary. He will bring leadership and presence to their secondary. And they did sign the Dallas Cowboys' best defensive lineman. The only Cowboy in defense who had much of a year was Jason Hatcher. He is now a Washington Redskin. They franchised, as you know, Arakpo. They added Tracy Porter. He might be on the end of his career, but still pretty good as, as a, an a upgraded cornerback from the Oakland Raiders. So, Stephen A., I'm looking at this team, and it's all about the X factor of Jay Gruden, but I think they lost one key free agent, addition by subtraction. They lost Mike Shanahan, and they lost Kyle Shanahan, and I think that will be nothing but good for RG3, who rushed back prematurely from his total knee reconstruction. He played no preseason games. He got thrown into a too early of a fire, as you know, against the Philadelphia Eagles, and it went from bad to worse. I think he'll return to being RG3, especially with Deshaun. So I could see this team returning to two years ago to be the team to beat in this NFC East.